how do you choose what projects to work on? How do you know that it's the one that you like? Um, and then how, how about how long does that take for you to go from just reading the script to completion? Well, it's sort of like a little messier, fuzzier than that. It's mm -hmm. not it's not like it's um, a clear cut process every time, you know, I or at, at every period in my career. You know, when you're starting out, it's like, yeah, you get a bunch of auditions and you just you know maybe you don't even get the whole script and you just go and audition and read and hope that you get a little part or whatever and you just take what you can get um and then you know there comes a point where hopefully you know you get offered things and you if you're fortunate enough you don't have to audition anymore people you know directors know your work producers know your work and they will cast you based on your previous work do I have this offer? Do I not? Do I like this? Do I not? You know, do I like the director? Do I like the script? Do I like the role? Do I like who I might work with? Mm -hmm. You know, those are all the things that kind of go into the mix. Because movie making is, you know, a collaborative process. Mm -hmm. So if you know a director who you like and you want to work with them, why not talk to him about it? Why not talk to her about it and say, let's do something together? Mm -hmm. And that's also kind of a way that I work now. And, and, and because I, as an actor, I am so director driven, it's sort of how I like to work the best where I just talk to a director and it's like, I don't care what you're making. I believe in you. I've made enough movies that were either commercially successful or critically successful or both. I just want to make the movies with people that I, that I like now and the kinds of movies that I like. So. You know, I'd go to Harmony Corinne and say, I don't care what you make, I'll, I'll do whatever. Was there a certain moment or was there a certain film um, where you knew, okay, maybe I can do this for a living? Was it a while ago? Was it recently? But was there a point where you thought, maybe I don't have to, you know, go live from audition to audition and maybe I can do this as a sustainable oh, profession? Oh, oh. Mm. Well, I, I was pretty fortunate. I went to UCLA, I left after a year. I went and worked at McDonald's for about two months because my parents said you have to support yourself. And then um, it's sort of, it's funny how it's come full circle because I did, my first paying job was a Pizza Hut Super Bowl commercial. Huh. And so it, it, because it was a Super Bowl commercial, it, played, it paid pretty well. And so I could leave McDonald's. And from that point on, I supported myself as an actor and I never had to get an additional side job. So from like 19 years old on, 18 or 19, um, I supported myself on what I loved. Now I wasn't, that doesn't mean I was only working on projects that I love, but I, at least I was acting. And the, I guess the reason I say it's full circle, not that it's like any great thing, but I, um, I just did another Super Bowl commercial <laughs> for Ford. Huh. <laughs> and it's, uh, they paid me a lot more this time. <laughs>